Do you, uh, would you ever expect to, or do you have the desire maybe to try to fly some of the other aircraft models, or are you happy right where you are right now? No, I'm happy here. It's uh, retired in five years. That's all. <laughs> that will be enough. Well, this will be a nice way to retire. One last question about Airbus itself. I think a lot of people here, especially in the United States, do not understand or recognize the fact that Airbus has quite a few products and suppliers in the United States, just like Boeing has from France and Germany. Uh, what role do you see between the two uh, countries or group of countries across the Atlantic playing with the, in that respect? And I think that uh, the, it's important to have uh, two companies also, to have the, the, the little bit of fight between the two companies, but it's more important if you have only one, that's after, that's uh, for the, the, the fight and for also the, uh, the, 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 to modify the aircraft and to move the, the, the aviation, that's uh, very important. It's, uh, I think it's uh, today, it's uh, 50-50 around, that's, uh, that's nice. Man. Well, this is the final question, but I was curious, we were talking about cooperation. This is the 100 years of power flight, a uh, big celebration. Uh, how do you feel when you look back and, and see what the Wright brothers did, and now you're flying an aircraft which they probably would have never imagined that we could ever fly? At, at the beginning, I was not imagined that I would be in the Beluga first, <laughs> because I was uh, in the C-160 and C-130 in the military side, and uh, uh, it's very difficult to imagine that uh, I will uh, in the Beluga at first, and uh, also I was uh, responsible for the operation. That's uh, the same as for the uh, aviation and story. That's uh, sometimes you look around and uh, you don't know. Five years after, it's completely different. Yeah? Well, I, uh, I certainly agree, and I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. As I mentioned before, this is definitely the highlight, I think, of the, uh, of the static displays, and I know many people refer to this as a landmark. They always say, meet me by the Beluga, as a way to find each other. So, uh, a beautiful aircraft, and we're glad that you were able to fly it out, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. No problem. Thank you.
as a prelude to our extended warbirds flying display coming in our final day's coverage tomorrow we present the bomber attack featuring the EAA B-17 and a stunning B-25 followed by a close-up look at one of the static displays at Aeroshell Square a Navy F-14D Thank you. 